are talking about to freeze or not to freeze with Dr. Karen Bazaglo from the OVO Clinic, uh, OBGYN, women with all the answers on this big, big question. Uh, let's get to it, Karen. Like, mm -hmm. I, a lot of women right now, I have a lot of friends who are uh, over 35 years old uh, who, you know, are either going through a serious breakup, are single, still haven't found the right uh, guy, if you will, and are wondering uh, if it's the time now to, 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 to freeze your eggs. Tell us about, first of all, what exactly does freezing your eggs imply? Well, first of all, uh, to talk about reproductive health in general, uh, women's uh, fertility declines with age, as you know. Mm -hmm. So men uh, start producing sperm around puberty, and they do this all their life. And yes. women, we have a reproductive lifespan that's uh, limited. So um, women are at the prime of their reproductive life in their 20s. Which is when most women are still in school and building their careers. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. And um, so the fertility declines with age and steep decline as of the age of 37 or about that time. And as the fertility declines, the risk of chromosomal abnormality increases with that time. So health risks for, for the baby. For Down syndrome, et cetera. Okay, so let's, let's, so at what age would you recommend that a woman, a woman start considering this? So um, my belief is that women who are single in their 30s uh, or women who are in their 20s with long career tracks uh, should consider egg freezing. You know, you just panicked a lot of women right now. I know a lot I of really people like are that. watching us right now. So you said single women in their 30s. Is there like a cutoff? Is it 35? Is it 31? There's no real cutoff. Of course, uh, it depends on everybody's personal situation. Um, like you said, women over 35 that are single feel that biological clock ticking and feel that pressure. And um, this is a way to get the pressure off. When they're dating somebody, uh, they feel more empowered. Uh, that they have something in the bank. See, we were talking about this during the break. A, a lot of women, this has become a taboo issue because a lot of women say, if I do this, it's as if I'm giving up on, on finding the right guy or the right person, and nobody wants to think about it. But it actually, you were saying it actually empowers women. How? Absolutely, because um, of what I said, that they, they feel that they've done something for themselves. Um, you know, if they need to use them later on, they have a better chance of pregnancy if they had to go through IVF later on in life. And um, so this is it. This is, this is the next revolution since the birth control pill. The next revolution. Okay, so are there any health risks? Because it is a, it is, this is a medical procedure. Absolutely. Is it complicated? So basically, um, women typically come in for consultation. We assess their uh, ovarian reserve or their fertility potential. Uh, by ultrasound and blood tests. And the actual procedure about, takes about 10 days to two weeks of injection shots, um, monitoring by ultrasound typically a couple times or three times during the cycle in the morning. And then the actual procedure is done under local anesthesia, sedation, uh, so they don't really feel pain. They might feel a little bit of pressure and we go and retrieve those, uh, those eggs. It takes about 10 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes. Well, we hope we've, we've sort of given some, some of the women out there some answers. Uh, thank you so much for joining us again, Dr. Karen Bazaglo from the OVO Clinic, uh, demystifying some of this, uh, but it's becoming much more popular these days. Absolutely. You said it's the biggest revolution well, since know, the birth control pill. In Manhattan, they're having egg freezing parties. I mean, it's, it's New York, of course. It's not Montreal, but I'm just getting conversations they, you, started. We used to have a Tupperware, party, Tupperware parties. These are egg freezing parties where you, people are not actually freezing the eggs at the party. They're just celebrating the fact that uh, they're doing this. Again, consult your physician before, you know, taking any major uh, decision. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us uh, this morning.